The Find It tool provides a simple way to query a large number of data layers. Primarily aimed at local authorities to perform planning constraints analysis, the results are available for viewing on screen, the download as a PDF, and are recorded along with the search item geometry in a SQL, PostGIS, or Oracle spatial database. And there are multiple ways that a search can be conducted, and we're going to really briefly look at each one um, individually just now. So um, this will be the starting point that you will come to using the um, URL from the marketing material. And um, the data that we're using is based in Stevenage. So um, all your queries should be really based around the Stevenage area to return any items. So the first um, search criteria we're going to do is we're going to say that we want to draw a freehand feature. So if I select the option, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan to the right and I'm going to draw an area that I'm interested in. And what I can do is double click to finish. Once we've drawn that area, we can click search and the system goes away and tells us what layers um, intersect the search criteria that we've drawn. So you can see we um, are displaying a district council layer and we've got a special protection area that's covered by that area that we've drawn. You'll also be able to see at the top that it's got a search executed um, time and date, which is great because it allows you to see when that search has been done. And then what we can do is we can save those results. So instantly it creates as a polygon ID, which is stored in the spatial database, which allows us to see the geometry of the drawn item and all the layers that have intersected with those. And then what we can do for the end user is we can get a PDF out of this information. So um, you'll see it comes through with the polygon ID. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this find it freehand. And what it will do is create the PDF. And once it's created, we can click on the uh, PDF to open it. And what you'll see is that the PDF has got information that relates to this um, to this site. So what you'll see, we've got a title page that you'll see on all of the searches that we're going to do in a second, which consists of a science constraints report. So it tells us what uh, date uh, and time this search was created. It tells us the polygon ID. Um, it tells us the numbers of results. It tells us the data sets that we've searched on. So even though we found two different layers, you can see there's a number of different layers that we're actually searching on there. Um, the middle bit tells us exactly the different layers. So you'll be able to see that we've fallen within um, the Stevenage Council. And if we want more information from the, um, from the authority, we're going to have to contact the Stevenage Council. And then you'll see we've got a special protection area as well. And the contact for that is on Natural England. And then right at the end, we've got an end of report. So it just gives us a really brief information um, and displays the uh, found items that we've got in front of us. What we can then do is we're now going to look at how we can select an existing feature. So um, for this example, we might say that uh, we want to um, build on an ancient woodland site and we want to know what constraints exist on a particular area. So I'm going to go into my find it. And this time I'm going to say I want to select a feature. We can select um, our ancient woodland um, information by clicking on it. And what it will do once it's found it, it presents us with the um, the layer and then an attribute name. So I'm going to click on that data set. You'll see it highlights that particular polygon. And then when we click search, again, you'll see that this time we've got a number of different layers that are returned for us. So this time we, we are uh, within our district council layer. We've got ancient woodland, which you would expect. Uh, we've got a green spaces layer, which is a public park or garden. And then we've got a special protection area again. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the results. And I'm going to say that I want to download that PDF. So this one is, um, we're going to call this choose feature. <coughs> and once it's created, we can click to open that PDF of interest. And once it's opened, again, we can see the SATS constraints um, front page. Uh, but then what we'll get is more detail. So we'll get the district council this time. We'll find the ancient woodland and we've got the theme ID along with the number, uh, the status of it. We've got the contact. Uh, we've got all the information that relates to ancient woodlands and the public parks and gardens. And then we've got our special protection areas at the end before we get to the end of the report. The next one we're going to look at will be our um, selecting a master map. So this is where um, this is I primarily use where you would say we've got a plan application on a particular site um, and we can select a master map um, polygon 
to query what the information is on that particular area. So I'm just going to switch to our um, OS Premium data set, which highlights the uh, master map polygons themselves. And if I click on our Select Master Map button, what you'll see is if I click over a polygon, the system tells us it's searching and then comes back and presents us with the toid of that particular uh, master map polygon. If we were to select over multiple different toids, so I've selected right over the corner of a building, what you'll be able to see is it presents us with a list of different toids that are available. And if we were to select one of them, it would go away and select that particular one. So I'm going to select the polygon we've got in front of us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to search that item. So this again, the system goes away, presents us with the information that is found for particular overlays that we've got um, set up. And what I'm going to do is, as we've done with others, I'm going to save those results. I'm going to download that PDF. I'm going to call this uh, master map this time. <coughs> and then what we'll do once that PDF is saved, we will then open up that PDF and we'll be able to see the sites constraints report. And again, we've got the we've got the front page tells us the numbers of results. And then for each individual result, we can see the items that have been found on that particular um, data set. And then the very last option that we have available is the um, draw a buffer. So um, this is this I got one is really powerful again because it allows you to say that um, maybe you don't want to select a particular item. You want to click on a, a site and say I want to know everything that falls within two kilometers of it. So at this time I'm going to select the same house. I'm going to say I want everything that falls within 2,000 meters. When I click search, the system goes away and finds all the different layers that are available on that particular um, search criteria. Again, we're going to save these results to a database. I'm then going to download that PDF and I'm going to call this buffer feature and then once the PDF has been saved what I'm going to do is open that up and because there's a lot more data on this we should have a, a bigger PDF but it will have the same uh, sites constraints report. So it tells us the number of results, which is 10. Uh, it tells us the layers, and then we've got each individual layer with the contact name. So this this uh, this search criteria fell within two council areas. So we're saying that you need to contact North Hertfordshire and Stevenage about this particular site that we're interested in. Um, you can see the countryside stewardship. You can see flooding, uh, green any green spaces, layers, local nature reserves, and then national parks and gardens, as well as schools as well and special protection areas. So this, this uh, add-in for web map layers is a really powerful add-in that allows you to query lots and lots of different spatial overlays at the same time using different search criterias.